Alright. Welcome back to another how-to video. Oh, I got the I got the zoomy, sorry, okay, I'm alright. Uh, so this next week is going to be Thunder. Uh, we're on Thunder 2B2, I believe, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, Thunder is a it's a, it's like it's basically Donner. I mean, it's not basically it is Donner. But uh, what they did is they took the layout of Donner and everything about Donner basically. And they made it brighter. They retextured it. Uh, they fixed some of the crazy uh, craters. Um, all the all the major stuff that made Donner Donner is still in it. But um, Thunder is just like a more competitive version of Donner. It is a linear map, which means that there's there's only one route that the flags go in. So the flags start here. This is the allies first, allies second, and then it goes into the mid cap down here, which is a uh, which is this tank, and then it wraps around here. And you got the axis second, and the axis first. Uh, so it's linear in that it goes one, two, three, four, five, all in a row. Um, some maps have multiple uh, kind of routes that you can go, or multiple lanes even, uh, where like you'll have two flags that you know go down Long Harrington, you know, and you have a mid cap, and then you have two flags that go down. Uh, mountain, but Donner and Thunder is a linear map, so it's a it's a difficult map because rarely do capouts happen. Capouts usually only happen when people ninja. Okay, it's very hard to it's very hard to just like kill everyone and push up. Um, so it's a lot of holding mid and just gaining points that way, or ninja capping. And holding mid, lots of Donner and Thunder maps, you know, the victor is he who holds tank the longest. Or they. They who holds tank the longest. Um, so it's a very difficult map in that regard. Like, it's a lot of holding, a lot of hiding in places, and waiting for people to start capping mid, and then coming out of the various nooks and crannies of the stupid map to, <laughs> to kill people. Uh, it's an infuriating map for me, personally. I I don't like playing Donner. I never liked playing Donner, and I never liked playing most of the linear maps in general. Sherman, linear map. Um, yeah. Saints, another linear map. I just don't like the maps that uh, the flags follow a straight line, because you pretty much know where people are going to be. It's a nade fest, you get stuck, and like I said, it, it, if you hold the mid cap the longest, you win the game. So it's um, it's rough, and even if there's cap outs, it cap outs come from ninja caps, which is it's just painful to be on the other end of a ninja cap. But um, you know that's life, and that's kind of the way Thunder plays out usually. Uh, they who hold the mid longest wins, or or if you can ninja and sneak your way around, you might be able to pull a cap out from under your belt, but. Very difficult map. Um, so, that being said, let me just give you guys some call outs. So, we'll start with Axis first. We'll run over here. Uh, this is Axis spawn. There's two ways out. You can come out this way right here. And you can go, this is back alley. Okay. Um, you got kind of like arches here. This is the Axis first. In here, I don't know that we have a name for this. Um, you can call out this area like bench or ivy, uh, but it's basically just back alley to the first when they get to these double windows. Um, you can also go this back alley way over here to get into the same area or just like look for ninjas. People like to ninja back here. Um, so there's two ways to get back there, and that eventually leads to the mid. Um, I'll just go through like the main one and then I'll go through the other routes. So. Up here, we used to call this double windows, like above the second. Uh, now we can just call it like uh, a sniper window above the second, or window above the second. Probably still just call it double windows, because there are two windows there, but there's just one you can peek out of. Uh, but if 
uh, the Axis get pushed to their second or first flag, you're gonna see snipers and rifles just show up here because you have a uh, easy access to people coming out of here and here. So that's window above the second. This is uh, another area you can come out of spawn. So, you, oops, I got stuck. So you can come out of spawn this way. Back in the old days, there used to be a plank you had to destroy. Otherwise, it slowed you down. Uh, this we used to call U, like it's almost like a U haul. Like it would come up here. Uh, but they took that out. So now we just call it like uh, like barrel house rubble, ruins, uh, ruin, second ruins, second rubble, something like that. Destroyed building. <laughs> I don't know. You can be kind of creative with the names of that. This is called barrels. Okay, this is barrel house. It's because there's two barrels in it. Uh, up here, this is upper barrel house, upper bar upper barrel room. Uh, this is barrel uh, window, right and left. I guess it depends on where you're looking at it. It could be left and right if you're in here. But usually you're calling it from over there, so. Right and left window. This is called slab. Uh, yep, slab. And then there's mid slab. But slab. This is a place that people chill and kind of make contact a lot. In here, this is sniper loft. Lower loft, upper loft. So you have the little broken hole you can get through. Lower loft. Right, left, center, upper loft, right and left. In here, we have, oh, we got stuck. We call this yellow house because it got the yellow walls. And if allies get in here, it's a pain in the ass. Try to get them out because they shoot you from here, here, and here. Um, and they can just sit here and wait for you. So allies like to get in here and make some pain in the ass. Uh, Axis, I guess, can sit in here and wait for bunker push. If you have a really slow heavy, uh, they can sit in here and wait for the people to push out a bunker. Or you can come up here and you can go to bunker ruins. And then this is bunker. Uh, it doesn't have a bunker anymore, but Donner used to have a bunker. And a lot of our naming conventions for this map come from Donner. So there's going to be a lot of things where it's called one thing, but it doesn't have any kind of visual reference anymore because it was taken out. Uh, but, you know, back in the day there was a bunker here. This is called Bunker. We're not going to change the name. It's going to be fucking Bunker. This is Bunker Alley. Leads to Mid. Bunker Alley or Mid Alley, depending on how you want to call it. Flower beds. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to call this, but, like, maybe construction... It's got some planks of wood, or maybe we're gonna call it bunker connector, or we call this cage, like bird cage, um, and you could call this cage connector, cage hole. You're such a cage hole. Um, call this planks. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we're gonna call this thing yet, but those are my. That's what I would call it. Um, there's two yellow rooms, so this is also yellow room. And this is like what the access like to get into to hold it. So it has, it's sort of symmetrical in that respect. Cause there's a, there's a yellow house over here, and then there's a yellow house, or we just call this yellow. But this is yellow over here, and it's got double, double windows. It's got a door. You can throw it over the top, and it basically goes to their first flag. Well, it goes to their the connector to the second flag, not first flag. So access like to get in here and hold off the allies. In here, this is the two house. Uh, this is the house that overlooks the two. You got, you know, two house lower, two house upper. Uh, people also call it like allied house, allied apartments. Uh, it's got lots of names. It's got like a couple little areas. I like this spot because you can, you can nade into the spawn from here. Well, maybe. I think I need a sprint to do it. Nah, right, whatever. You can do it. You gotta trust me. Literally doing it earlier. There we go. So you can nade their spawn. No, I like nading spawn. It's one of my favorite things to do. But this is also a good place to hold a second and ninja. So if you can chill over here and the allies open this door, 
you can basically just run straight into cap their first flag, especially if they're pouring into mid. You cap here, then you run and you cap the second flag. Pretty cool. Uh, so let me go back through bunker here. And, so you got mid alley, bunker ruins, rubble. Okay, you got slab, common nade spot. Uh, lower and upper uh, sniper loft. We call this new house and tree. So this area right here, this is tree. Okay, they, in the original bunker, there used to be a tree here. Uh, they took it out, but you can imagine it's still there. We call this new house because it didn't exist in bunker and it's new. This is a common ninja spot. You can chill back here and they can't see you. New house. Uh, call this back alley to the first. Axis first back alley. This is back alley proper. Uh, barrel back alley, back alley. Or Susie alley is another way to describe this. Uh, because this is Susie. There's Susie. Suze. E. And Susie is great to get into as a rifle. This is lower Susie. And it gives you a lot of options to shoot into. This is called rubble. Uh, triple boxes. Lower church. Lower church hole. Lower church doors. Upper church. Church loft. Or just loft. Okay. And then upper Susie. This is a rifle's dream spot because you just get to shoot people coming off their second, shoot people into cage, bird cage, and shoot people, or, yeah, bird cage, there's another name for it, I'm forgetting right now, but, or shoot people in this big hole connector area to the bunker. Um, it's mostly designed to kill all the people in rubble, people coming over here. Um, original Donner, this is all you wanted to do, is just get up in here. And in Thunder, it's really good to be up here too. This is a really good spot. The only problem is these walls are super thin and um, you can just shoot through them very easy. I don't know if I can show you. No, I can't show you. But anyway, people can wall. You'll get granted a hundred times while you're up there through a wall. Um, this is Bunker Alley or Mid Alley. People come out of here a lot. To Tank, this is Tank, it's the double cap. Tank Slab, Tank Box. Back of tank, front of tank, mid alley, uh, crater, triple boxes, another crater. Uh, this is a nice little spot people like to sit in, although you kind of get stuck here, which is kind of brutal. But um, it's not a bad place to be in because people will get up into Susie and you have access to just throw people, uh, nades into Susie and deal with them that way. Uh, let's see here, we got mid house. McDonald's. So down here, this is McDonald's. Back in, in Donner days, this was an arch, and so that's why we called it McDonald's. The M had a, an M arch, kind of like this. So this is McDonald's. Over here, this is Crack, or Crack House. This is where people do their crack cocaine. Um, now it's because there's cracks right here. This is all cracked up. And this is Crack House Upper, Crack House Lower. Uh, it's also a really good spot that people like to hide in, chill in. Um, I'm trying to name, but it's really easy to pop up here, shoot mid. Uh, people like to chill in here and wait to break mid. So they'll just wait, wait, wait. You start capping, and then they come out here, bird, 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 and kill everybody. So Crack House is a pain in the ass. It's also good to get into off of initial because you can kind of wreck people with nades and with your rifle. So Crack House is great. McDonald's is great too. You can get behind McDonald's and you have a really good advantage in peeking stuff like uh, the trip boxes, people come around here and you can just wait for them. Again, it's a good spot where you can chill in and wait for them to cap mid and run out onto the cap and, and stop it from being capped. Lower mid house, got a little bar area. Uh, another good spot you can chill in. Um, people are gonna come here to uh, what's this called? Ru uh, yeah, rubble. Or people are gonna come around here towards trip boxes, so you can chill in there and kill them. Upper mid house has got a window that the allies like to chill in, uh, and they can kill the axes coming in from the front. 
this is upper mid house hole and it's like another good spot to choke but upper mid house and again people like to hide here the whole thing and then they come out and break mid when they need to uh this is mound and again people like to chill here it's a, it's a hard spot to hit uh we have church so lower church doors church hole and uh this is church loft okay we got rubble second mound i said children cage yellow room or yellow uh this is the allies second and the allies first this is a little apartment like you call it their first apartment or first house and uh, we got you know we got the two house and the first house and um, this is again it's a little ninja spot or if you want to try to hold them off and just be a pain in the ass if you get their second you can run in here and wreak havoc although usually if you get their second you want to try to run them first but it's a spot it's pretty uncommon for people to be in there but it is a spot uh then you got sandbags at the first this is their spawn they can go to their second house uh, and then there's another ninja spot back here um, it doesn't get used that often people don't typically get in here I mean, I guess you could hold off the first flag from here pretty good but what it's really for is ninjing the first so if you could get here magically somehow without anybody knowing you're there you could sit here wait for them to cap the second and then you just run out to the first or you you call out to your teammates like hey stop killing people just like go hide break mid cap if you need to and then you let the other team run from their first to their second and into mid. And then, then you make your escape. You go capture the flag. And you come over here to cap the second. Um, lots of ninja caps in Donner. And if you go inside church, this is church, lower church. Church stairs. This is a good spot people chill in. Uh, church loft. And then you have graveyard, which is back here, or cemetery. And you, it's a lot of, uh, can't go back here. Like, uh, there's an invisible wall that stops you. You don't want to tread on the dead, so there's an invisible wall. God's own force field, what stops you from going in there. Uh, you can't jump on any of this stuff. You can't get through it. You can nade through it, which is cool. Um, so there's, there's, there's little nades you can throw. Uh, I'll make a nade video of it. But I like throwing this nade where you bounce it off the top of this. And then it goes in there. That's a cool little nade. Uh, this is like cemetery mound. Uh, or church alley. Is another name for this. And you, you can chill up here and you can kill people coming out of spawn. Coming out of spawn. Try to cap it first. There's this little ninja spot area back here where you can go chillin', but if you come out here, it'll kill you, so you, you can't come this way. Back in Donner, you used to be able to come out of Ally's spawn. Allies would come out here, and this is another exit, but nowadays, uh, I don't think you can open those doors. Maybe you can. I'll have to check in on Allies, but... So maybe Allies can come through this back alley area, and then they can peek and do all this stuff. It's basically it for spots. Trying to think. We've got church, rubble, yellow, connector, bunker, connector, bunker, uh, bunker ruins. We got mid alley or bunker alley. This is our side bunker alley coming out of bunker. We got barrels, barrel ruins, second flag, double windows. This is a nice little ninja spot. I don't know a name for it. I'll just call it like their first apartment or something like that. I like this spot. Especially to ninja or to kill people here and here. So you can get them out of both their spawns. You can really hold on to people this way. I feel like we used to call this like bricks or something. Or something weird like that. Stone house? Brick house? Brick house? But bricks on the outside but not the inside so I don't know what's up arches at the first sandbag at the first and then we're back alley yeah basically it that's just uh, all the naming conventions that I can think of at least 
So I'll show you how to play it. We'll, we'll switch to allies since we did this already. White models. So off initial, uh, off initial, and just as a general rule, if you have mid or nobody has mid, you can go through this door. So this door, it's pretty safe to open if nobody has the mid flag or you have the mid flag. If they have the mid flag, so they have three flags, and you open this door, there's probably going to be someone either ninja or just shooting you down and then running into the first flag. And it's so dangerous to let somebody onto your first flag back here that it's better to just go around. It's better to just go around this way than it is to try to open that door and like gain some seconds in getting into the bunker. Um, people really like to hide ninja and again murder you so if you open this door you open yourself up to getting capped on like pretty pretty significant chances so it's better not to it's a wallable door or wallable wall it's good to know good to know um so from here rifles are going to try to get into mid and heavies will probably go bunker so for for heavies you're going to come in here you're gonna like throw a nade this way, like, like, <laughs> and then just get ready to rock because people are gonna be coming out of here. A lot of people like to set up in this bush. Uh, it's pretty expected that there's gonna be somebody in this bush. Uh, people will do all sorts of weird shit, like hide here, prone here, prone here, like this. Uh, that way you can have access. People can come from up here and here, and also mid alley. Uh, there are some nades that'll take care of these areas, so you gotta be careful. And then people like to chill over here. So, you know, bunker is kind of, um, it's kind of holdy. It depends on who you are as a heavy. But if people get through here and they come back behind your rifles at mid, or worse, they pop through and get into yellow, it can be devastating and really hard to capture the mid flag if they if you have heavies flooding through here and holding them. Because if you can cut off the mid area, then the other, the other team's gonna cap the double cap. And if the other team can cap the double cap, then they get points. And I mean, that's, that's terrible. You don't want them to get points. Um, whoever holds the mid cap longest typically wins. So if, if you allow heavies to come here and cut off the mid from anybody, then the other team's gonna capture. So a lot of times bunker is just a holdy position and the heavies will hold bunker and then occasionally maybe send a rifle through to the other side now if you're dominating their uh, their heavies and you know you can have one heavy just kind of keep pushing and one heavy can cut off this side right the allies uh, can cut off the access access the access is access to the mid flag um, you know, you, you shoot here. People need this quite often, but you can shoot here. You can come out and shoot people this way. People prone on this a lot. Or people get into Yellow House and just kind of wait. If you have a rifle, you can destroy people. If you're really good at standing, uh, barring, you can just like, one tap people coming out to their flag. And you can be a real nuisance as a heavy. So it's all about cutting off access to the mid flag so that the the other team just has less people in mid. And that's basically Bunker's role, is you want to hold Bunker so they can't cut off your access, and you want to send people through to cut off their access to mid. Yeah, that's Bunker. It's pivotal, but boring. Uh, I don't think heavies particularly like it, because it really does, um, like, you're going to be peeking into people just waiting for you. And it's, it's a very hard, it's hard to deal with. There's some nades that'll go over this way, but they've kind of fixed all the angles, so you can't nade too well into Bunker. You can nade out of Bunker pretty good. Oh, I say that and just fucked up a nade. Yeah, maybe not. Well, I'll have to mess with some nades more. I'm going to probably release a nade video. But The other thing you can do as a heavy is come to mid alley, and you can just help mid out. So if they're capping, you can come over here. Take out the cappers, um, 
having heavies helping mid is huge. I think it, they need to rotate based on how many rifles have died or if their snipers have died. Um, so if you guys, if you got two heavies in here, uh, and then you notice that some of your rifles have died mid, you're gonna instead of coming this way, you might want to just rotate over to mid alley and <clears throat> pop a squad here and try to shoot people that are going to McDonald's trying to get to this uh, mid slab. It's for the cap. We're coming out of new house and entry, so it could be a big deal. Heavies can really do a lot uh, to turn this, the the ties of this map. Um, it is kind of a rifle heavy map. But, like I said, heavies can make or break the map as well, so it's a big deal. And then heavies, it's not easy, but, you know, if you kill people here, mostly you're going to die over here. You know, you'll kill a couple people, but there's going to be, like, massive respawns coming out of here. But if you can get into barrel, this is awesome. Especially with a, a rifle, uh, because you can shoot these really awesome shots limit access to the mid, and maybe you can cap the second. See, so you come in here, you cap the second, and then you're going to go and hide somewhere. You're going to be like, chilling here, shooting people coming to the second floor, kind of back off a little bit, shoot people coming out of their spawn right here. This is a hard shot. You can do it. You can come over in here, rap, 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 kill people coming out of the window, and you can harass people from lower barrels as well. Okay, so there's lots of spots. Can you jump on barrels? How annoying can you be? So annoying. Um, but that's kind of the map that is being played. Obviously you can push up. People are going to come out of this spawn area here. And you can, this is a really key spot to try to hold this area if you get there too. You gotta pay attention and listen for people coming out of here, but most of the time people won't come out of here if you get there too. What they'll do is they'll come out for their first spawn, and you just have to sit there and pick them. Boom, 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 boom. And you can sit here and kind of crouch behind this, get a shot at their first. Uh, if you're ninja, you can come over in here. I like this because you can kill people from here, you can kill people from here, kill people from here, and push out. Uh, but it's not easy at all. This is also a good spot to sit in if you get this far. You can either ninja right here, no one's going to check this corner, they're just going to run through and up. Um, or you can sit here and just wait for people to show themselves and shoot them from, from the stairs. Pow pow pow. Shoot them in the back. And you go cap there first. And that's, yeah, that's going to be how most people push up even if we're going into a uh, area. So if we go back to the allies first here. Alright, so we come out of spawn. Capture the first. We have two options. Okay. You go the main option, which is out this way. This is where most people are going to go. Usually you'll send two or three rifles this way. Sniper, maybe one rifle this way. Uh, this is rubble. Um, peeking Susie is really difficult, but people, when you when you come out of here, people are either going to be here, they're going to be at triple boxes, they're going to be at upper Susie left, upper Susie right, they could be here, they could be lower church, and they could be lower Susie. Okay. This right here is a choke point. So when the other team has control of mid, this is where you're going to be fighting a lot of the time. It's brutal, brutal fighting because they have people, they have the advantage right here. They have Susie, lower, upper Susie. You can pick it by coming onto the, um, the mound here. Um, you can kind of get into Yellow House a little bit and do this fight. And you can also go back of Rubble and fight at this little V crack. Okay. Inside lower church, uh, they could also sit there and just destroy people. It's just a tough fight when, when the access controls mid. So off initial, um, people are going to be back alley, coming out of new house to tree. This is probably two or three rifles here, sniper and rifle maybe on this side. Uh, so you choose your battles, 
Usually I like to come out and just throw a grenade just kind of there, just whatever. I just throw it at the base of crack so they don't sprint into crack from slab. Uh, but you can position yourself uh, behind the mound and try to get kills this way, although you're a little exposed. You can position yourself behind trip boxes, although people nade this pretty frequently. But you can just see a nade coming and try to avoid it. Um, when you cap, you can, you, it's, it's tough because nades come from both directions, but most of the time they're going to throw a nade from slab. It's going to bounce over here and come into this area. So I like to try to cap on this side. Um, you can cap directly behind the tank, kind of like tuck in here. Uh, you can come around this way like this and just like hope that they can't see you. But people from, from tree will nade and bounce it off this way to kill you on this side. Uh, I typically try to cap really aggressively pushed up to this slab. And um, the reason I do that is because maybe I can see the nades in incoming. Boom, boom, boom. And then they have to peek me pretty wide here. So they're very exposed from tree. So I, I like to sit here to cap. And then like maybe back here to cap. And one person could be watching back alley, but it's dangerous because they, they're going to peek and see you from here. Um, but yeah, maybe if you prone over here in the corner. This is not a bad spot. It's actually a pretty brutal spot. Um, but it is a spot. And the general strategy for once you cap mid is to spread out into all the buildings and nooks and crannies of mid. So like I said before, the real winner is usually who holds mid longest. So once you cap, your sniper is either going to go into church, or they're just going to chill there the whole time, okay? or they're going to come here into mid house, and then they can start peeking slab and peeking barrels and just wreaking havoc and never letting people come into mid. So a good sniper will just eradicate people on Donner. It's a sniper map, 100%. Rifles secondary, heavies tertiary. Uh, it is a, it is f for sure, hundred percent a sniper map, and your sniper can make or break it. Way more than the heavies, way more than the rifles. Uh, it's a fucking sniper fest, is what it is. A lot of teams will run double snipers, which means that they'll have a rifle follow the sniper around till the sniper dies, and they'll pick up the sniper rifle, or. The sniper will trade a rifle, their sniper off initial, run and die, come back with a sniper, and then have two snipers in mid. It is absolutely brutal when people do this, and um, man, it's it's just tough. So if you have if you have two people on the team that can snipe, run a double sniper strat. You know, like like I said, you you trade the rifle, your sniper rifle off initial, and then you run and you get yourself killed. You come back with another sniper rifle. You have two rifles in mid. <sighs> Crazy shit. A lot of times people will just chill up in these areas just to break just to break mid. So they'll kill they'll kill two or three people in mid, then they'll try to cap, and you can come over and just break it. Boom 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 boom. Uh, or you, you can just sit there and hold it and just not let people into. You know, if there's two or three of you in mid, I would try to hold this area. Um, if two or three of you die in mid and you're the last alive, now it's time to now it's time to ninja around, wait for them to start capping, and then come out blasting. Uh, another spot people go to after you cap the mid flag is they'll break off into crack. I kind of talked about this earlier, but inside crack you can cover new house really well. You can cover tree really well. And if they, if they have to come from slab this way at some point, um, and you can just blast them. So sitting in crack is pretty amazing. You can jump on this thing to get up. You can jump up into this window and like uh, kill people from the window and then fall back down this way, kill people in new house. So uh, you can also just hide in crack and wait for them to push through. Once they push through, you come out and kill them. People will also sit in Susie. So even allies come over here, and this is like a, a, a spot you can kill people coming out of Susie Alley, back alley, and you can also break mid cap. You can come up here, and you can hold these these angles right here. So they're gonna come out of this way from slab, and you can shoot and kill them. Uh, you can shoot and kill them from over here, and you can bop up here maybe. If I can do it, what's happening? No, maybe you can't do that. You gotta 
jump up and kill people. So, you know, Susie is a great spot. Uh, Midhouse is essential. And Crack is essential. Okay, people also chill in uh, Mid Alley, although I don't like it as much. Um, and McDonald's is not a bad place to sit. I just find this shot really hard to make, so I don't like trying to do it. And there's nowhere really to hide, so this is an easy spot shot, but this stuff is kind of difficult. Um, if you've been holding mid a while, it's almost a guarantee that a rifle or sniper is going to be up here in upper barrel house and lower barrel house and feeding into bunker. So when you peek this stuff, you got to kind of like go like, like peek, 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 and then you can push through. And then you want to peek. People are going to chill here. People are going to chill up here. People are going to be behind here. They're going to be behind here, here, behind this slab area and behind this mound over here. Uh, they can also be in the window. So there's a ton of places people can be. But typically, I, I just try to throw a nade like that way and then just start peeking stuff till I can see what's going on. Uh, if you can get into barrels, it's like a barrel of fun. And it's like shooting a fish in a barrel, but you're, but the fish is the, has the gun. Uh, these are really fun shots to make. And you can sit here and just like harass people all day, especially if you have a car, steal a car at some point. Yeah, you can just harass people. I don't know about these spots, but this used to be an, a U. It used to be called U, and there was like a, a U thing, but they made it to this rubble, so. Uh, they come out of their spawn over here, so you can hide over here, which is kind of nice. And if people run out, you can shoot them, and then you can also like shoot the first flag from here as well. If you can't run in here, you die. I've kind of already talked about this, but this is one of my favorite spots. One, two, one, two, you get kills, you get kills, or you just wait, and they're gonna run past you, run past you, run past you, and then you can run out here and try to cap the first, try to cap the second. I've talked about this, but this is also a nice place to chill. Uh, let's see here. Last route for allies is uh, church to back alley to their first. So you go church, and again, the double sniper strat's amazing. You might want to just follow the sniper till they die or switch with them, and then you can have two snipers. Lower church is a great place to hold angles from. Um, it's, it's very hard to hit people in these positions, and you have a good you have a good sightline of everything. The sniper is usually going to be down there. Or they're gonna come up here like this. Okay. As a rifle, you can snake over here to Susie. You know, you get all your kills. You cap, uh, you cap tank. You run in here. You can chill Susie, or you can push Susie alley. Uh, Barrel is a good spot to sit because it's hard to hit you. Although people expect you to be there, so just as a heads up for that. There's also little nade spots. Uh, when you come out of here, you need to peek all the slab stuff. Peek windows up here. Uh, sniper right is usually inside this sniper loft, but you go peek, 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 and then you can push through. Now you have a couple choices. You can ninja up here. This is like a ninja spot. Or you come down here and you start fighting. So this is a nice spot to do your little crouch hop. Where you come wait for them to... to go across here, you kill him, or you listen, you peek out and shoot him. This is a little ivy area. People also try to ninja here, but I don't think it works too well, but people try. And if you're not paying attention, maybe you can get one. Uh, this little tree area, and this is their first. So you can run out, cap their first to win. Um, this is not a bad place to sit and try to hold, especially if you have a car. Um, get a couple free kills in here but they don't expect you to be there and then try to push out and get there first they can have spawn from here and spawn from there it's pretty brutal but that's it so that's your church to back alley to their first uh, so let's do access I don't know why I just typed in kill again but 
Alright, there's two ways out of spawn. I'm gonna start with the farthest one first. So, access can come out of here. You got your arches, you got your back alley area. So if you're gonna go back alley... I think I'm gonna do a nade video later, so... You have to kind of wait on that. I don't know when that's gonna be released, but... Uh, from here... You kind of just want to throw nades, like, towards the tank area. Because they're gonna be behind tank almost right away. Um... But this is a great spot to kind of shoot people coming off of the left-hand side. Or you can shoot people, especially sitting up here, you have kind of an angle at the triple boxes. Tank, tank. Uh, they can't hide from you here, but you know, at least you got something. You can always nade, too, if they're super, super hiding. you got to be careful, especially if, uh, if allies already have the mid, is that they're going to chill and, and crack a lot. And they can also come out of their bunker. So tree is kind of dangerous. And then they like to sit in this area. So as you come out of here, you can't see it. But you got to peek it. Just make sure there's nobody there. You push through. And your goal for back alley is to get into Susie. Uh, lower Susie is kind of hard to get into. People can chill at this uh, trip boxes, lower church, rubble area. They can be any manner of all over this area. Crack even. But, but... Once you get into Susie, your life is golden, okay? You just get to murder eight people with a car. Um, just such nice, you get quick 4Ks uh, pretty frequently because you gotta have, there's usually four to five people running mid. Uh, and a good a good, a good car in Susie can just hold that forever. There's so many streaks up there. It's a legendary spot in Day Defeat, I think. Susie is a crazy spot to be in, and so, you just kind of trade off being up here, you kill one person, kill a person, kill a person, then you move down lower Susie, kill a person, kill a person, kill a person, kill a person, kill the sniper. Uh, if they nade you up here, you just sprint down here and get away from the nade. Um, Susie, you just have to hold Susie. The key to holding mid axis is holding Susie. Um, again, same thing with, with the crack houses off of initial. Well, I'll get to that when I cover the main one. But after you get to Susie, if you, if you want to push up, you have two choices. You can push up through Rubble into their second area, or you can go into Church. And some good spots to hold in Church is you can sit right here. And it's a pretty brutal spot just to shoot through the stairs. I think it does a little bit... Oh, sorry, it's one in the morning. Um, I think it does a little bit less damage because it's, it's technically walling through something, even though it's clear. But it's a pretty gnarly spot to sit. Then you can come up here and shoot all the people doing that. But mostly you just want to hold this, shoot people here. You can you can wait for them to come at you like this. You can wait for them to come here. But you kill the uh, the the person coming from uh, cemetery, and then you can push up or try to ninja. Always try to ninja on Donner. If you can try to ninja, ninja. That's the only real way to get caps. It's pretty rare just to shut a whole team down to, to push up. Because if you if you shut someone down here, by the time you get halfway to this flag, they're gonna have spawned again. It's infuriating. But there's a lot of a lot of distance that's just open. It takes a lot of time to get across. So it always try to ninja. That's the best way to cap out on Donner. But if you can't, you come up here, and this is a great spot to harass people, except that you're gonna have nades incoming constantly. But you can still get a couple kills. Uh, and then, you know, maybe push up to over here. This is a good spot. Good spot to ninja, too. But you can kill people coming out of this way. Kill people coming out of their spawn. Uh, people don't typically get in here, but you can. And it is devastating, especially to ninja. And that's it. You just try to get to their first cap out. I kind of talked about it earlier, but if you get there and no one knows you're there, sitting here is a really good idea. And then you, you just, like, let them walk out. And then you come and cap all their flags to win. Now, yeah, let's see here. If you go the main route, so we're here, and you want to go kind of the main route. Let's see lots of open, long lines of sight. But off of initial, I like to throw nades kind of like towards rubble or like behind the 
this is where typically people will be. Some people can get to Suzy fast, and if they have a really good spawn, or they'll go to the uh, like that back area right there, and of course lower church. So, what the fuck? That's kind of cool. You can throw nades towards lower church because they'll probably be there. I'm gonna have to play with that. <laughs> the stairs are funny. Oh yeah, I like that. It's made off of initial. But uh, yeah, people are gonna come out this way or lower church. So they can hide behind trip boxes, they can run over to Susie or lower Susie. So you just wanna get nades on there right away. I usually try to push into crack. And then from crack, you have a good line of sight on their sniper, sniper, or you can come out and just murderate their, uh, their rifles. And it, it's a, even this shot right here, it's like bam, and then you get back. Bam, get back. Bam, get back. A good person in crack can do a lot of damage. Uh, when you cap, it's hard because they will bank nades this way. So, but this is my go-to spot to, to cap the flag. I think you can also be back here. Yeah, this is not a bad spot to be either because you're still in the cap zone and you're pretty well protected. I also hide underneath a tank like this. You can peek, but it's better just to hide, I think. Uh, you can also see on top of the tank. That's pretty brutal. It's hard to get people off of this. Bopping heads. Okay. And then you have two choices. You can go back to church, or you can go into rubble. Uh, from rubble, you know, you want to throw nades that just kind of disrupt their, their ability to get to their second. Uh, you typically want to get the second or get a rifle into yellow. Rifles and snipers in yellow can absolutely shut the other team down for long periods of time. So getting back here and being able to just peek and kill, peek and kill, peek and kill. You can throw nades over the top of this. Maybe. Like that. Um, just pretty devastating spot. See, so it goes around the corner. That's really nice. Pretty devastating spot to be in as a rifle or a sniper. And that's why I think bunker is pretty useful. And if you have control of bunker, you should send a car occasionally, or even a sniper occasionally, back here, just so they can try to attempt to get into. And look, you can get into it without really exposing yourself too much. Ugh, so good. You get back here, and you got pretty good line of sight. Lots of kills, just like in, just like in Susie. Um, people are gonna nade this a lot, but you can still go through it. Get up here. And take people out. Push to the second. You push to the second. You can make an attempt on the first, or you can just try to hold it in all the ways that you can hold it. I've seen people ninja down here, but it's pretty rare. But you can just hold a hold off another wave, and then you can cap a flag. In order to cap on Donner, like the old-fashioned way, you almost have to kill everybody and then cap the second. And then you have to wait and kill everybody again in order to cap the first. So unless you're ninja capping, it, it almost takes killing, you know, team acing per flag after the mid cap, which means wiping out the entire enemy team to get the second, then wiping the entire enemy flag to get to the first. So it's just a very difficult maneuver to do. Uh, okay, so we'll talk about back alley. So let's say I'm a heavy and I'm gonna go the back alley route. Um, I don't know much about this because I'm not a heavy. There, there are nades that'll go over where you kind of throw it over this way like that. And it goes places. Now I'll, I'll, I'll do a nade video separate. but. When you come in through here, people can be here, here, and here. They can also be over here and up here. Uh, people like to chill on this spot. People chill up here. People chill up here. People can even try to ninja over here. Ninja. Um, yeah, entering bun bunker is really difficult. And once people are entrenched in bunker, it's hard to get them out. So you use nades to soften them up and then try to peek and get your kills. People are gonna be here, because it's kinda of hard to see this corner. People are gonna be here, prone. People are gonna be here, here, and here. They can also be down here. 
and they can be behind this double double crate. Uh, oh my gosh, this is just such a brutal place to be. Uh, but you push through here. Um, you can throw a pool nade like right here. I saw like if you aim kind of low, and just push it in. It'll go around the corner there. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and like I said before, bunker is mostly about holding it so that the rifles can go through it and get into those yellow spots. Uh, I think that one heavy should stay in bunker at all times and be just a hard holder while the other heavy tries to push through and make plays or goes mid uh, and helps mid out and you should send a rifle occasionally so they can hop over here. Heavies in this position is very rough. I, I wouldn't go into yellow as a heavy unless you're really good at like STG sniping, bar sniping. But if you go into this area, you can murder eight people at their second. Murder, 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 murder. You can come and cap their second, get back into the two house. And you know, you can stop people from coming in here, stop people from going to the two. You can hold it from up here. You can come out here and hold it. And like I said earlier, you can kind of like mess around over back here and nade their, their spawn area. So this is where I would be as a heavy. Uh, instead of pushing into yellow, I would push into here and just be a nuisance. Because you can be. Uh, that's basically it as far as uh, as far as the three routes on Axis and the three routes on, on on allies. And you know, his final words of wisdom is just that you have to hold this tank, and sometimes you have to do it at, at all costs. And it's it's a tough, frustrating, slow map where snipers rule, and everyone else has to play like like little rats, little rats in the basement. Little rats in church, little rats in Susie, little rats in mid alley, or little rats in crack doing house. Um, very difficult map, very slow paced. Like I, competitively, people didn't cap out too often on it. People held mid, and you know the, the same is true on Thunder as it is on Donner. Uh, you just gotta control that mid. Never, ever, ever, ever let anybody <laughs> out of mid house or cap the cap the tank flag. I mean, yeah, you, and you have to clear mid house. And that's the other thing when you go to take this flag is don't be afraid to just check fucking everything, like literally everything. You gotta check McDonald's. Um, when you come in here, check all this shit before you try to cap. Really get a hold on it. I mean, hell, post a rifle up here. Don't try to cap it with two people. You need three to four people in mid to cap it. Uh, that's to look out for rats. Uh, that's to clear stuff. You know, if they're capping here, there should be people in mid house clearing it. There should be people in crack clearing it. There should be somebody in Susie just holding on. Um, uh, you know, don't be a hero and go for a two cap in, in, the, in the tank. You want to get positions first then go for a cap okay it's it's a you have to you have to be smart to play this map because if you if you rush uh, you're gonna lose and a common issue with teams is that they will cap the tank and then they're trying to go for the second flag right away and all that really happens is that okay they cap the tank they get here they get they get wiped out by the next spawn wave and then that team now has control of mid they come and cap, they spread out into all the nooks and crannies of the map, and they hold on. And they're gonna and by holding, you're gonna gain more points. By pushing, you're gonna lose points because you're gonna trade in the mid back and forth. So unless you're just absolutely dominating them, um, you need to have somebody in mid just holding. Maybe even two or three people in mid just holding. Uh, while while maybe your star players push up and try to make something cool happen and hell yeah okay so if you get a 4k if you're someone gets a 4k maybe a 5k you can try to push up but chances are by the time you get close to capping the first they've already spawned and if they spawn in big waves they're gonna wipe you guys out then they're gonna have mid control so it, it's almost better just to hold on to mid for dear life 
as boring and shitty as it sounds, and believe me, it, it, it I don't, it's not my favorite. But it is what it is. Um, you can like line up this way, and it goes behind the tank pretty good. Oh, that went right into McDonald's. That's how it used to be in the old in Donner. So I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to do all this stuff to figure out how to cap, how to do the nades a little bit more. I mean, but that's my philosophy on Donner. You gotta hold mid uh, at all costs. You know, don't be afraid to rat around. Hide in here. Let people push up in here and shoot them in the back when they try to cap it. Um, I hate advocating this kind of stuff, but it's 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 traditionally how people have won. I remember making a huge rant on Gotfrag one time because I played a team. I think they were a Brazilian team. Not that that matters, but I just remember them being Brazilian. Um, but I killed four people in mid. Like I, I got a 4K. Maybe it was a 5K. It's four or five kills, and then we're capping mid, and a fifth or sixth guy comes out of nowhere, just out of thin air, just like it's some sort of magic space, uh, hammer space, you know, and just murders us trying to cap mid, and I was so angry. Like, I was just like, why can't they just play, you know, like, play aggressively or whatever. It's, it's always been a thing, but on Donner, like... You're gonna win and lose by how well you can hold. So, just make sure that you're holding. And you're not trying to, uh, you know, you're not trying to uh, be a hero and push and cap out, unless you're just absolutely dominating. All right, that's all I can really think of, other than showing you guys nades and stuff. But I'm, I'll do a separate nade video. But that's just my general philosophy and routes and what you call stuff. And, how-to video on Donner completed. Peace out.